Y254. Imagine. Welcome back to Y254 Business Highlights. My name is Yvonne Anula, and tonight we are talking about the fashion industry. And to see us through this topic tonight is Vincent Odor and Joseph Jonio, who are currently uh, fashion designers and are currently dressing artists and members of Rai B Empire, a company that encourages young people to explore their talents. They also do dressing for different forums like weddings, like weddings, parties, and important meetings. Remember, you can be part of this conversation tonight by simply tweeting us at Yvonne Anula at Y254 channel. The hashtag to use is Y254 updates, starting with the word Y news. Now, with at that bunch of portfolio, maybe Vincent, you can tell us what you what you do. Uh, currently, I'm doing insurance uh, with the Prudential Life Insurance Company, but we're also doing fashions as part part time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also assist us get some money mm -hmm. for uh, other activities. So, Joseph, where did this start? Um, actually, it started back in 2013. Mm -hmm. Actually, when we had just cleared our school mm -hmm. and. Uh, we thought is that the active source of income alone is not enough. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to venture in at least an extra source that can at least bring an income. Mm -hmm. And above all, it was like passion. You know, the other things that somebody is born with, but the other things that somebody perceives as a result of culture. Remember, quite a number of us goes to school with an M to mm -hmm. get a white collar job. So we thought it twice that instead of idling around, why don't we use the talent kind of that we are feeling that and the, that's why you opted to indulge in the fashion industry yeah actually that is the where did you guys get capital to start this particular business mm, our capital mainly was generated from our own source of income eh, from mm -hmm. our employer because mm -hmm. based on our industry where we work mm -hmm. we had some good money and then secondly we also talked to our parents because we also needed some extra cash or cash to assist us enable mm -hmm. the business grow so well because uh, we can not, not only depend on our salary to make the business be worth it eh? so some sources from the from the family and friends and maybe and uh, some from our our earnings eh? mm -hmm. get give, give, give that, that motivation to set the the activation a bit earlier uh joseph i was going through some of your works online um what was the inspiration behind your works especially when because I saw, so the things that you've done are meant for ladies mostly. Yeah, um, actually what happens, we men, mm -hmm. uh, we love doing best or having done or having something that best fits us. But you are aware that all these beauty shops that are in the world mm -hmm. are basically made for ladies. Yeah, that's according to our, my, 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 my point. Because, for instance, you can find that uh, men they rarely go to the boutiques. And um, you can find out that when they maybe purchased a given item, it takes like kind of time. Mm -hmm. But ladies, I think they are always inspired to have the best mm -hmm. because there are also of motivation when it comes to occasions. They are like um, a source of giving the public happiness. And uh, this is why we said that let's appreciate our ladies by at least bringing something out the best that has not been there ever before. Yeah. And also to add what my friend has talked about, eh? mm -hmm. uh, men has poor buying culture in terms of uh, the dressing, eh? mm -hmm. unlike ladies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when ladies, let me talk about when a lady sees something new, they'll be ready to buy that thing from the market. Eh? Mm -hmm. But a man will take some time for him to make the decision to buy the to, to buy, buy the product. That's why he decided let us venture into ladies because currently they're the majority in this country. Mm -hmm. So with a lot of young people may be indulging themselves with the fashion industry. What is special with your designs? Uh, what is special about our design? Mm -hmm. I will find that um, quite a number of individuals like the young generation, they try to Google, they try to research. But with us, we wanted to do the Afrofusion by first of all trying our own modes. Like we can get to, when we are invited to do maybe a decoration uh, for an occasion like a wedding, or like a party. We first of all find the environment. And then as a team, we try which outfit fits the best. And from there we can we come up with our own raw materials. And as compared to others, I think that was it's one of the best. 
we design on our own based on our own perception and what we see mm -hmm. not that we copy other people's what they've done how how is it is it for you to, you design your own clothes right yeah how is it is it for you to come up with different colors and make sure they blend um i believe it is a talent and um just like we can sit somewhere and find out that if i blend green uh, red mm -hmm. blue or white it can match with this so i think it is just something that is within us that we can sit down and try to do with the different colors and purposely the outfit will automatically come out mm -hmm. and yeah then also to assist my, my friend eh? in terms of blending we look at what most ladies like there are, there are some certain colors that ladies like the bright colors are sort of eh? mm -hmm. so we when we decided to let, let to venture into this business we majorly we majored into that that area mm -hmm. where we can get good sales because of the the, the the nature of what the ladies need and require so maybe uh, vincent can tell us the uh, amount of time you take or the time you take to come up with one design how long do you take to come up with one design uh, for a design to go through very well eh? because we sit down uh, we sit down the two of us and then we research onto it eh? before mm -hmm. we make a decision eh? mm -hmm. it can take between two to three weeks for us to make a good good design two, 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 two to three, three weeks, weeks to yes. make one is it adjustable like what happens when a larger demand is is put onto you mm, when a large demand is there actually it depends on what kind of uh the market that is being targeted mm -hmm. you saw when a large demand like for instance we are talking about a wedding here mm -hmm. and you know a wedding they might be thinking about a given type of design that they want to be embraced throughout the wedding session mm -hmm. so with that once we've researched and we can just produce in bulk it's different from a case whereby an individual wants like I need this, I need that, and I, I need a different design or color. Yeah. So far, Joseph, do you feel like this business is profitable? Yeah, uh, the moment you are doing a passionate thing mm. that comes from within your heart, whether it gives you a little or no return, you appreciate, because you are aware that um, it's basically entrepreneurial, because it is something that comes from within you and you take a risk to pursue it mm -hmm. and at the end of the day uh, you succeed in life uh vincent yes. technology is taking over everything nowadays that is true. what are your marketing strategies as a company our main marketing strategies eh, what we look into is most youths because we as a company we are targeting the youth eh? mm -hmm. if you look under the youth they are more or less in the in the facebook in the Twitter, in the mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. So that is our main area mm -hmm. because 90% uh, of the youths, they take their time into the social media. So that is the, our, our main area where we as a company are venturing into. Yeah, also to add on the same, uh, at times we do advertisement and um, most cases when there is like occasions like when there's a launching of um, a given project with the, either of the, the authorities within our county. So we could request the same mm -hmm. and we display because we also have um the synthetic sculptures of human being right yeah we just dress them and place them somewhere mm -hmm. where we know quite a number of individuals will be able to spot them out so do you guys have an online platform where you can like sell your products yeah currently we are dealing with um the raibi mm -hmm. uh, empire platform mm -hmm. uh, who is also um, our partner within and um uh, it was, we've been with we, within we, we've been within for uh, with it for at least one and a half years, and we are seeing it's not doing bad, and uh, we are also planning to open um, a bigger platform for the same, mm -hmm. so that to reach uh, everyone that is willing, and or rather to reach a broader market. Uh, Vincent, different people have different ways of distributing their products. Yes. What way do you use? What we do is uh, based on the current things we talked about technology, mm -hmm. we major on the online aspect eh, where somebody can do an order online and mm -hmm. then we do delivery through the uh, other delivery measures. Uh, let's talk about the challenges that come with this particular sector. Um, actually, the challenge is one, mm -hmm. uh, you find out that uh, there's a competition from our, pay, um, our fellow designers. Uh, you see, whenever you post something, you expect negativity comments or positivity comments mm -hmm. so so you have to learn to live with them and adapt Two, uh, the market trends 
at times uh, there are agreements that you make with a customer and like when they come uh, towards the end of um, of the delivery <laughs> you might find that um, before actually we do the delivery we we'll request for the different measurements of individuals and at times you find out that somebody has maybe added weight within the duration because you know things to do with wed wedding mm -hmm. they are ordered early enough mm -hmm. so when somebody comes when he or she has already added some weight <laughs> it's like the dress Definitely. needs to be like uh, fitted again mm -hmm. so that's another challenge that we see and um, also now that we are the two of us eh, mm -hmm. at the workload at times you have to work late in the night uh, you wake up very early so that you meet the customer's needs I think so far those are the kind of challenges we are seeing mm. but all in all we are not doing bad uh, you people work like partners is this a partnership thing um, you can say that because we are also cousins to say so mm -hmm. and um, I can say we are we, we are partners are there any challenges that you have experienced working as partners uh, up to date we don't see because it's like all of us mm -hmm. found themselves uh, in the same same and just like the same birds or other birds of the same feather flock together okay, yeah yeah he had the same passion at the same time i had the same passion so when we sat down to share we were coming into agreement and the only things we wanted to strategize what do we do next mm -hmm. yeah and the point will come and then we implement because the secret to success is simply implementation you mm -hmm. not waiting upon uh, wishes so vincent yes. As a young person, I'm interested in this particular line of business and I want to start one. What qualities do I need to satisfy to become a fashion designer? First of all, you must have an attitude mm -hmm. because everything that de derives towards our success in everything, whatever we do is the attitude. Mm -hmm. Have that passion and attitude and automatically you'll have to achieve it because attitude sums everything all. And to add the same, mm -hmm. uh, well you need to be patient. Mm -hmm. Because like if you take like three weeks like um, Vincent said <coughs> to produce a given good, most of our youths want things done immediately. If not now, or rather if not today, it's now. So you will find that most of them try and they fail. Because if you make a mistake in a point, you need to actually not follow and remain the same point, right? Mm -hmm. You need to adjust. Because you might make a design and you fail, it is okay. Somebody comes and criticizes it, mm -hmm. right? You should take that as an advantage and rectify the same, then you proceed. Then two, hard work. Everybody has taken everything on based on education basis. I usually ask my fellow youth <laughs> that at creation, remember? <laughs> That's Genesis 128. Mm -hmm. There were no colleges, no universities. Right? Right. But there's a given gift that God deposited in each and every one of us. So unless you utilize that gift, it may not come out. <laughs> but most of us goes to school, program to be either an employee, or self-employed mm. that's where most of the youth make mistake so at the end of the day when they don't get job or they are not paid any salary they want they get frustrated and lose of in life they get into other things mm. so my main point just be patient be focused realize you have talent that is within you if it is the design you will achieve it like we, we are doing and um, I think you will appreciate the life you have today uh, do you guys feel like this is the future of this country. Would you say fashion designing is heading somewhere in future? Yeah, actually, it depends on how it is embraced because at the grassroots, we have very good initiative with our youth, right? Mm -hmm. But there are stages of development. You find out that from this particular level, somebody sees that you're able to benefit for the same, but then cuts off that link. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the only thing that we can say. In as much as we are trying, we as youths, eh? but we still have some limiting factors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get at some point you're frozen, come back. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen it we've seen it in so many areas of development. Talk about sports, um, talk about education, talk about all sorts of areas. Whenever youth tries to do something, mm -hmm. they're always uh, not allowed to go up as they wished. But why it that there are people who can at least embrace the same. Mm -hmm. They can be always at the top because fashion and design is actually what brings somebody out because the moment the first impression right mm -hmm. that is what you are that is what brings either somebody to love you or to okay. criticize okay. you mm -hmm. yeah so vincent do you feel the same 
a brother point? I do, mm. because it's all about what he's talked about, eh? mm. that passion. So, gentlemen, your final words. Maybe we can start with you, Joseph. Yeah, my final word to um, all the ladies and gentlemen who are viewing us at uh, Y254 today. Um, unless you realize your vision and dreams, nothing shall come on a silver plate. Mm -hmm. And um, as I usually do say, and I reiterate again, that does not depend on the education we receive in school. That is only to formalize you with life. But I know very well that there's something that is lingering inside you, that which agitates you at times. I know quite a number of us are waiting to get employed, but remember shocking statistics. Over 12.5 million individuals are not employed currently. Mm -hmm. No jobs are being created. So if you just sit there doing nothing, that you are waiting to be employed, my friend, it's getting too late, you are getting elder, elderly. And remember, you also have a short life to live. So please, embrace whatever talent that you have to assist you uh, uh, have a good life that you've always wished. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Vincent? Uh, what, I, what I can say yeah, is uh, currently things are very much tight. Eh? Mm -hmm. And even uh, well, to whatever I want to do, especially based on the people who are brought up mm -hmm. in our communities, yeah, mm -hmm. we get discouraged. You can even tell, decide and tell your mom, your, your, your parents, that I want to be a DJ, I want to do this kind of uh, activity. But at some point, they feel that it's not not employing because they're looking under the future, not knowing that whatever you have at heart, mm -hmm. whatever God gave you, even your, your parents cannot know. So it's all about you to go for it because mm -hmm. the moment you leave it, the moment you lose hope, the moment friends tell you that, no, you cannot do the, the design, it doesn't have money, it doesn't pay well. But the people are doing it. People are getting money from it. People are earning a living from it. Mm. People are feeding their families on the same same activities somebody is discouraging you on. Mm. Why can't you also have that mentality and go for it? Because even talk about even the country, country itself. Whenever you start playing football, even your parents will tell you that, no, football will never take you anywhere. But people are doing so well in football. Mm. One of the best paying... Uh, careers in this country is even football. Mm -hmm. Whenever you do it so well, then where you, th th there you are. So I'm just telling my youth that uh, life is really changing, things are really changing. Whatever you, ha whatever you have at hand, mm -hmm. whatever you feel that you can do it for your, for your life, kindly, just go for it. Let nobody let you down because the future is all about you. Not even your parents, not even your friends, not even your enemies or whoever mm -hmm. who, are, who are there. It's all about you to make your future. And I thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for showing